everyone and welcome to the breakdown today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to download and install Bibliocraft in Minecraft 1.12.2 But before we jump into the video I want to remind you it's sponsored by game servers Go to the breakdown.xyz slash mc server First link down below to get an awesome Minecraft server for just one dollar per month It's going to have DDoS protection It's going to be up 24 hours all of that awesome stuff Again first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server But how do you install Bibliocraft? Craft. Well, it's pretty easy. You want to go to the second link down below and it will take you here where we want to click on files and we want to find the version of Bibliocraft we want. In this case, we want 1.12.2 right here, which as you can see is actually not the latest release. The latest release was for 1.10.2, so we don't want that. We want the one for 1.12.2, so make sure you find that. Come over here and click download next to it. It will then download it down here where you want to click keep. This has been downloaded 1.366 million times. I promised it's safe, but we're not done downloading yet. We need to go to the third link down below, which is the breakdown.xyz slash forge. It will take you here where you want to scroll down to where you can click the big download forge button. That will take you off to minecraftforge.net where we want to confirm we've got the correct version of forge selected. That's going to be the MC 1.12.2 here. If you're installing version 1.12.2, if you're not, you can find the other versions over here and select those. But for this tutorial, we're doing 1.12.2, so we then want to come under a download latest and click on installer right here. It will then take us off to add focus where I want to say this. You are going to have to wait five seconds and don't click anything on this page. This is a lie. Do not click it. The only thing on this page you want to click is the skip button in the top right. It will then download forge, which we want to keep. It's been downloaded by millions of people. We can then close out of add focus, minimize our browser, and we should have two things downloaded. Forge and Bibliocraft. We're gonna start with Forge. To do that, right click on it, then click Open With, Java TM Platform SC Binary. It will then open up this handy dandy Forge installer where we wanna click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then go through, download some stuff, do some things, and successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome, we can click OK there, move this file to the side, and now we wanna install Bibliocraft. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. That's gonna open up the Run program where we then wanna type percent a p p d a t a percent percent app data percent exactly like that click ok and it will now open up the roaming folder we then want to go into dot minecraft and then we want to go into our mods folder but nick what if we don't have a mods folder don't freak out just simply right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that just mods all lowercase and then open up your newly created mods folder and drag bibliocraft into it and with that bibliocraft is installed but we need to make sure we select the correct version of minecraft in the launcher so i'll meet you guys there once you're in the minecraft launcher you want to come down here to the play button and click the little green arrow right next to it it'll open up this or you then want to click on forge it might be at the bottom i don't know where it's going to be for you but find the forge profile and click on on it. You then should be able to hit play and it should work fine. If it doesn't, come back to the launcher, go over here to launch options, and then click on forge. You then want to find the drop down right here next to version. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll probably have a few different versions of forge down here. Click the one with the highest number at the end. For example, if you had one that was 1,600 and this one is 2,600, you would obviously click the one that is 2,600 at the end there. Click that, click save, go back to news, confirm that forge profile is selected, and click play. Play. It will now launch into Minecraft 1.12.2 with Bibliocraft installed. I will see you guys on the Minecraft main menu. So once we're on the Minecraft main menu, checking to see that Bibliocraft is installed is pretty easy. Just go to the uh, mods button here and scroll down and you'll be able to see bibliocraft we can also launch in to minecraft single player it's probably going to give me an error here but that's because i've had old mods it shouldn't give you an error and actually didn't give me one either in that case and all we need to do is come in here click over and there is the bibliocraft stuff you've got all the awesome bibliocraft lighting as well as the bookshelves and tables and chairs and all that awesome stuff that bibliocraft adds there you guys have it if you do have any questions post those in the comment section down below and be sure to go to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome Minecraft server for just $1 per month. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single week. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.